good morning everyone. Time for another hangar update since the last video. We did what I was worried the most about throughout this whole build as far as what was gonna be the most difficult and require the most people, which was putting on the roof as well as the soffits and then the last of the trim, which didn't take as many people. But the problem was the roof as well as the soffits had panels that were over 28 feet long. So just maneuvering those size panels can be such a nightmare. And then with the roof, obviously you're concerned of falls and, and having a safe work environment. So I really, to do it right, needed someone on a lift on the front side of the building as well as someone on the back side. I needed at least two guys up there. It turned out, it, you know, really three was better. The extended eave actually gets insulation. My only guess as to why is just so that the roof panels line up because they'll be insulation sandwiched in the main part of the roof. So uh, yeah, we're insulating the, the outside. <laughs> Essentially what we want is as we're rolling out, he's gonna be on the back edge, you'll be on the top edge and then us two will be up top. So that way we don't have to walk all the way to the edge and we'll have you drilling down everything, but maybe get the truck set up, we'll get the first panel and then we'll figure out what's the best way to do it. That's good, Aaron. Whoa. Oh, is that you? Yeah. I'll just go like this for right now, just so I can get this guy. looks more does this look pretty straight down that edge to you it kind of does to me like i think after we get the first one on we can kind of you ready to slide and then just grab by the center high ribs it should be the easiest and then you're gonna want to line up a foot out i'm gonna put one in on mine then huh just this. That went through? Yeah. Why'd that go so easy? <laughs> I, don't need to. I don't know. Does he need to move still? Yeah, he's hey, I guess you gotta push that way a little. Yeah. Set this almost in the cavity, slide it towards it. We'll do this one so you guys have space. And I'll cut that, let's just slide it. Like, we know it, this edge should be there. So that's how that'll go, right? Okay. Can you push that away from me at all? That insulation, can you push it away from me or do I need to walk the beam out there? Why? It's gotta go in. Ah, f this stuff's not in the right spot either. So it was a, a tough thing to orchestrate as far as getting enough people to get out here and start putting down the roof panels. And obviously with the insulation system, everything goes a little slower than you expected. And of course we just have every day guaranteed by noon, you're looking at 20 plus mile an hour wind. I am super glad to say we finally got through it. I did not do the best job of filming it simply because it's really not a good way to uh, get cameras up on the roof and even the soffit area, which was the extra big pain because now instead of just screwing down big panels onto the roof, now you gotta hold them over your head and align them while screwing them in. And there's these little flange braces coming through the last panel there. What that means is I am effectively done with the exterior of this building. 
Basically, after we did the roof and soffit, we were able to get the trim put on for both the eave as well as the rake. I've got the gutter on. I do not have the downspout set up yet because I'm waiting on some parts, I'm kind of switching up the plan on those. Like I said, the outside of the building is effectively done. And it feels great. Now it can rain, it can do whatever it wants. I'm still waiting on the garage door installers to come and put the garage door in. We had a little hiccup with that as well. I'm excited to get into the inside of this building and start running all the electrical and all of that fun stuff. I wanted to fill you guys in, let you know, yet again, it was harder and it took longer than I thought to do that section of the build which is quite unlike the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. I know I've told you guys about Squarespace before, but I wanna tell you about them again. So thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. And for those of you that don't know, Squarespace is truly the ultimate way to build a website and run your business. You start with one of their award-winning templates, you craft it into your own beautiful, professional looking website that works on both desktop as well as mobile. And they have features for every industry, so it doesn't matter what you're trying to do with your website. If you wanna book or schedule your clients, you can do that with Squarespace. If you wanna have your own online store, they have all the integrations for that. It truly is the all-in-one platform for anything you want websites, and it literally is super easy to use. You literally just click on something to change it. It's drag and drop when you wanna add photos. And again, if you wanna switch templates, you can literally just choose a different template and import all your stuff over to it so you can like change your website whenever you want super easily. It is an awesome platform. So if you haven't yet, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to purchase, make sure you use code Trent Palmer at checkout. That'll get you 10% off. Thank you again, Squarespace, for sponsoring this one. And you guys know the drill. Like this video if you do. Subscribe if you haven't. Come be my wingman. See you on the next one. Peace.